To start, we need to define two triggers, one for our per application idle timer and another for our per application disconnect timer. Let's start with the idle timer. For this example, we've been instructed that the application hyperspace, after being idle for 10 minutes, should go into a disconnected state. We set up an advanced trigger and configure the following filters. Idle time in minutes is greater than or equal to 10. And XD apps in use is star hyperspace star. The stars act as wildcards in searching for the string in the text field. Lastly, and session state is equal to active. I'm going to fast forward our time until we get to the first trigger. Remember, I have two sessions on the same server, Word 2016 and Hyperspace 2014. We are going to hit all the criteria for the trigger for the Hyperspace session. This will cause it to move into a disconnected state whereas the Word 2016 session will continue along its own timer. The trigger fires, and the session with hyperspace has been disconnected, whereas the Word session continues. Now let's look at the disconnect trigger. This trigger will be a session state changed trigger. We will be looking for the session state to have moved from active to disconnected, and a minimum of 5 minutes in this state. I've also added a single filter on this trigger to only execute on sessions with star hyperspace star in the XD apps in use field. Let's fast forward to the five minute mark of the state being in disconnected. Again, we have two sessions on this server and we have now witnessed control up automation defining idle and disconnect timers on a per application basis. The word application is still idling while our more sensitive application has just been logged off. Want to learn more? Visit www.controlup.com.